Hi. Everybody, happy Friday. Yes. You know, the way I live for Fridays is so intense. Um, hi, you guys. I don't know how your week was. Mine was weird. Um, kind of like wobbly. And I've gotten children down and I don't even know. I'm just like, Jesus, thank you for getting us to Friday. That's like the best I can say at this point. Thank you for getting us to Friday. Um, I'm in a weird place in the house right now, you guys, because um, so for the majority of last year, four of my five kids lived here, right? Um, and let's see, how do I put this? I was triaging a couple of them. Okay, the bigger ones. They were being triaged. Okay, um, and so, and then that got longer and longer. And so, anyway, four kids is a lot, and they were here, and all their friends, all of them, all the time. And then, um, what happens that you will learn when your kids get older, if you haven't got to the stage yet, is that um, they come back. And they bring pets okay well then they go to their jobs during the day but you get to have the pet you the, the pets yours now you are the person with the pet so that was my um 2021 20, and so like just a minute ago i mean like literally in the last two-ish weeks all at once the two, the bigger ones, the two bigger ones who were being, you know, triaged here in the house, um, moved out, e each of them. One went to one apartment, one went to another, then took the, their stuff, uh, cleared out my garage, which has doubled as a storage unit. That's another fun thing for you to know, that one day, one day you just won't, that's not your garage, okay? Put your car in the street. What that is now is a storage unit for a child. Um, and so they moved their stuff out and then the dog went with, and so all of a sudden no one is here. It is just like, no one is here. Ben and Remy and I just keep walking around going, it, like, it's just us, I guess. Is this, it's just us. I was telling a friend that having only, I came from a big family, you know, I was the oldest of four. I immediately created a big family. I've never not had, I've never not had a ton of people in my house ever in my whole living life. And I don't know how to do it. Like I have no idea how to do it, particularly around food. And what, no, <clears throat> what I'm noticing is I either cook w way too much, like probably enough for 12 people. Um, or not enough. I can't find it. Like I can't, I can't thread the needle. I can't figure it out. Um, but worse than that, the worst thing about that is that more often than not, I just kind of think, well, like why bother cooking at all? No one's here. No one lives here anymore. Like I'm an empty nester. Um, and what you might notice if you specialize in math is that two children still live here two whole human kids and um they eat you know they eat they have they need to eat every day but to me two kids feels like none does this make sense i'm just like oh am i like i'm still cooking that's a for how much longer like how much longer is that a thing um, that I do? And so I don't know what we're doing. Like, I don't know how, I don't know what's really happening. Um, but the house is very quiet. It is pretty clean, um, very strange, and pretty awesome. People keep asking me, like, right now, oh, you like, do you feel sad about that? Are you sad about that? I'm like, do I look sad? Like, do I look sad to you? 
No, I'm not sad. Internet, I had my first baby when I was 23, okay? I've been parenting for a very long time. Uh, I've been at this gig. I have done my time. I have logged the hours. I did the deal. It's time for everyone to grow up and like move the hell out. I know I'm not sad. No, I'm not. Bye. Plus they all live here. They all live right here. That was always my master plan. Like make them love me enough that they'll leave, but they won't go far. Do you know what I mean? Um, they can just pop down for dinner or whatever, more likely to do their laundry, but they don't live here. So, okay. I don't know how to cook for three people and I need help. That's one thing. So anything you can tell me about that is useful. All I have is Tupperware. Uh, so many Tupperwares of leftovers. I can't, we just can't. They look at it and they're like, is, who else is coming over, mom? I'm like, well. I guess it's just us three and I got confused on quantities because like, I don't know. Um, okay. So I did just want to say one last thing before we logged off for the weekend. I don't know if you know this, but last year I instituted a policy with my business team and I'm like, our, we're done at noon on Fridays. That's it. We're not sending each other emails. We're not texting. That's it. Uh, we expect no responses. We're not scheduling anything. So like, I'm going to talk to you right now. And I'm done. That's it. High weekend. I'm actually speaking at Shine this weekend, which is the conference for Noonday. I'm a you know longtime friend and fan of Noonday. I've spoken at every Shine except last year's. That's you know my good friend Jessica Honiger. So that's tomorrow, and I'm gonna go stay at the Fun Resort because I want to. Um, but I just wanted to just touch down on what has been so fun. I guess it's been like. 11 days since we launched the me courses. Um, and kind of just, I don't know, we've never done that before. And it was new, a new, new content in a new way. And we just put it together with you in mind and really had no idea how it was going to land with the community or if how it was going to serve you, if it was going to work, it's working, you guys, it's incredible. And I just want to say that if you have been on the fence, about wanting to jump in here, you just should do it. Um, right now we have three um, me course series. We've got one on simplicity, um, basically just clearing out the clutter. And that's every kind of clutter, physical clutter, mental clutter. It's just paring our lives down to something that feels manageable in every way. Um, one's on wellness. So this is a lot of stuff baked into that one. Health, physicality, um, habits, all these ingredients um, that contribute to our sense of wellness. And then the last one's on finances and it is down and dirty. Like it is like people are paying off their debt. People are, it, it's been 11 days and you would not believe what the women in the finance series are saying. Cause we have a Facebook group. We have a private Facebook group, which you get a part of. So not only the me course series have videos, um, but they also have a ton of digital resources that we put together for you that are incredible um, and bonus guides. So you've got the video, like actionable, practical, educational, inspirational, not too long. Like we did not fluff this out at all. We distilled down the best content we had into just like bullets for you. So, so you get it in video form, but then we have all these digital resources to kind of extend your work. You get it all and you can do it whenever you want at your own pace. It is, it's, it's evergreen. It's going to live forever. Um, in your personal portal, you can revisit it. You can do it fast, slow, whatever you want. Okay. It's yours. And then you have this private Facebook group to kind of spur you on and feed off of each other and give each other like great ideas as you're working through this material, um, available for infinity. If you go to mecourse.org, mecourse.org, and you plug in the code, what's it? Me 40, M E 40. 40, 40, you can get 40% off. And that includes a single um, course if you just want one or the whole bundle of three. Either way, you get 40% off. Um, and the, the bundle's already a discounted price. So uh, it's really awesome. It's awesome over there. It's so fun to watch everybody start like 
piling on in the group saying like, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm learning. This is what I'm trying. This is the phone call I made. This is something I changed. Like here's a before and after picture. I was just like, as always, when I put something meaningful into this community, it always takes on a life of its own. Always. Like 100% of the time. Like we'll do our very best work on, on our end to give you the best we have to offer. But then you take the thing and it just explodes. It's like explosive. And so it's exciting to watch this stuff start to work in your lives. Um, anyway, so it's mecourse.org. You can find out more. There's like little videos over there. You can kind of see what you're getting. Um, if you're interested at all, that's a good place to start. Um, and me 40 is your discount code. So come join us, man. Um, if you hadn't heard me talk about it before, these particular courses are, which are, by the way, only our first three, um, we're built, going to be building a library here, but, um, are the three areas that for me, I have experienced the most amount of life change and life change and transformation and growth in the last two years. Um, you've kind of watched me do this in real time and I've just pieced it out for you like bit by bit. But now I've literally taken everything I learned from all these incredible mentors and teachers and resources and places, condensed it, compiled it and put it in your hands. Okay. And so, um, you don't have to wade through 40,000 hours of instruction like I did to find everything that I needed. Like we have just, um, we ran it down for you and it is so usable. So, all right, that's it. Um, okay, you guys happy weekend. It's freezing here in Austin. Absolutely freezing. It was like 28 degrees this morning or some absurd thing. I was texting my friend Joe Saxton yesterday because it was so cold here and, you know, we don't know how to deal. And I'm like, she lives in Minneapolis. <laughs> and I'm like, hi, it's cold here. So I'm thinking of you because um, what I remember is you a couple of years ago sending me a picture of you in the middle of some horrible wintry day in Minneapolis, like they all are. And she had on like her parka, you know, it's like a parka. Oh, whatever it's called, like with the hood and the fur and her little face is like just peeking out. She's got the thing like pulled so tight under her chin and her face just looks like she's suffering. And I'm like, so I'm thinking of you because it's 32 degrees here today. And I've pretty much told everybody I can't work. Like I just can't, who can work in this? Who can work in this cold? I don't understand how anybody functions in it. I don't know how people in the North get through the winters and keep jobs. I really don't. Um, so anyhow, I hope that in some way you may be able to just hang up your work week in a minute and just call it a week because everything kind of sucks right now. The world sucks. COVID sucks so bad right now. Everybody is just dropping like flies everywhere. So like, I just give you permission to be there. It'll be there. It'll be there Monday. Just, I mean, really. How many of us like genuinely have, I mean, I don't have a podcasting emergency. Do you know what I mean? There's no such thing as a, a book emergency. So sometimes we can just say, I'll see you Monday. All right. That's it, you guys. Um, me course hard work. Come on in. Me 40 your code. Have an awesome weekend and I'll see you next week.